Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Battle Brothers. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we risk our lives. Now, I will say this, uh, because I didn't say it before, but this might... We might die here. I said that we might die before, but I didn't say what I'm going to say now. Is that if we do die, I'm reloading. Uh, and uh, I think that is what happened in my previous Let's Play. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't stop the Let's Play once I die. Uh, unless, of course, we get into a position where we die for sure, but we're gonna go down fighting, and it's gonna be interesting like that as well. Uh, I don't want, I don't want to get the Let's Play to be like a, an abrupt ending. Um, but, um, but yeah, we're gonna reload if I, if we die. And the reason we die, what, what we die means is that uh, we have all the gladiators in here, uh, and uh, this is a fight to the death. There's no, there's no retreating. There's no retreating. There's no even place for us to retreat to. I wonder if we could go up there. I think we could. That'd be an interesting thing. That would be a really interesting thing. No, we would. It w it, it doesn't work. Ah, it's a good thing I didn't notice that. Uh, do you see that? I'm using the plus. That's why the arena is so dark. And also depth of field. I have depth of field. Everything is very blurry. So, uh, yeah, basically, that's the ground level. One level up. Two levels up. So you can't jump that. Unless you were a spider, of course. Um, and spiders can jump anywhere. So these guys are really dangerous. These guys over here are really dangerous. Everybody is really dangerous. But these guys are the issue. Because that thing can attack at range. Uh, and I don't think we're doing... Hmm. I don't think we're doing... Send my Larkin over there. It's weird. Huh. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to be doing two attacks on each one of these over here. Because they will move back. They tend to have... Uh, I've, I've seen in the... Oh, this is such a weird place. Why are they doing this? If that guy moves over there, he's, they still can't attack. And there's no reason why they would want to move in. Unless they really want to close ranks. Which is reasonable of them to want to do. Look at that. Huh. They really do want to close ranks. Shield walling against him. And you're waiting. And Fanny's the spear walling. I want them in here. And we're waiting. Okay. That was a bad decision. The spear wall was a bad decision. These guys can now attack us. Um, so I'm going to shield wall and spear wall. Shouldn't have passed there. Let's try to stun you. you see that? Brutal. That is brutal. My Larkin not landing his hits properly. Bernard is out of the game, basically. Wow, three misses. Wow. I did not expect to go down this fast. <laughs> Sacrine is out. I mean, admittedly, it's the gladiator still left. Because they're a lot harder to hit. But 
but I don't think we're winning this. <laughs> we're putting up a fight. Don't get me wrong. They can attack like this. This is super dangerous. This is the worst. This is the worst combination. Against the way I, I play. Yep, Brian is gonna die next. Those things do so much damage. Ooh, Brian didn't die. Yeah. Man, I, 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 I did not expect this to go this badly. There was never an if we die. Fanius is holding steady. I can't, I, I can't believe Fanius can survive. I mean, Fanius can survive this. Let's be clear. If I look out, let's see. Uh, let's see what these the hit chances are. Chances are 33. So yeah, I've been very lucky right now. We're killing these guys after job. No. Yeah, he's not surviving. He just broke all the things now. happened there? Why are they surviving? Missing ear. Broken elbow joint. Like, this, these are brutal injuries. The missing ear is fine. It's actually the best one. <laughs> four, minus 40% fatigue for Fanius. Part of, of the lung has died, making it very hard for this character to catch breath. Yes, it would be. The sinners of the sword's men have been defeated. Either dead or perhaps worse. Badly mangled. At least... Or perhaps worth, worse. Badly mangled. At least the crowds are happy. In the pits, any showing even... In the pits, any showing. Even that which ends in demise is a good showing. Wait. They don't die? How do they not die? They... Sakrin has two permanent injuries. Is that possible? Did I never even equip the boar spear? I, I'm not. We're not doing that though, because um, th that is that is uh, that is. It's not a game over, but it's. It might as well be. That is. The orcs are coming. The first of three battles is over, but it's time for us to drop out. A thousand crowns is perfectly fine, and I should have heeded the advice because, well, not the not the advice, but I should have known <laughs> because the the freaking the freaking um, it's a it, it's a three skull thing, and uh, honestly, fighting with yeah, so we know what to expect. The last battle is gonna be absolutely impossible, so probably only after we have like ten level tens and stuff. It makes sense. Though this, like this sort of this, these sort of fights tend to be here forever, so we're, we're just gonna be able to to do it whenever we want, or more or less whenever we want. It's not quite like that, but it's, it's close enough. So we're good now. Let's see what this is. You walk into Musa ibn Usain, the vizier of treasuries, domicile, and he's got a, scro a scroll, doesn't he? Hiccup. Um. The creatures of an undetermined sort are wreaking havoc close by. Let's do that. Hunt down what terrorizes. Yes, I want that. I also want to hire people. But I don't think we're going to get ranged combatants. Ooh. We got a disowned noble over here. These are pretty good sometimes. Uh, we have a gladiator. These are very good a lot of the time. Yeah, we should just hire gladiators. What we should do. Just save our money and just get gladiators forever. That's that's what it should do. Let's 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 do that. Um, I mean, to replace people who die at the front. Let's do it like that instead. Wait, we have nine. 
No, we need one gladiator still. So if I want to have three, three ranged combatants, this would get up to 11. And then I would need another one for the front. Yeah, having four gladiators sounds like a de an interesting deal. Uh, that three skull mission is very scary as well. So this is a hunt down what terrorizes this place. So I don't know where it's... Oh, it's in the south. Uh, that's their footprints. A sword eater is dancing around a plaza of Ikma. He holds out a blade about as thick as your pinky. I was gonna misread that. As the gilder sees me, I will eat this steel. And the man announces his intent and follows through promptly. He arches his back, pinches the blade, and guides it, or glides it into his mouth and onwards and inward. His mouth puckering around the steel as though he were slurping noodles. The crowd at first gasps, but then the swallower gives two thumbs up and the onlookers cheer. Uh, bravo, here's a few coins for you. You toss the man a few crowns, he pulls out his sword and places it stip upon its pate, or his pate. The crowd cheers again, greening. The man talks as he balances the sword. I see your banner crowning. I'm no warrior, but I'm a traveler and well enough speaker. Though I seek to impress for personal gain, I will on occasion make sure to put a kind, of, a kind word for your company of coin-seeking misfits. The swallower throws his arms wide and nods quickly. The blade plummets from his skull and falls deftly into his sheet, or sheath at, at his hip. Again, the crowd roars with light, and you can't help but think this entertainer is a man of his word. My sword is not so sharp, yet the ladies can't even do that. Oh, right. Uh, 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 that's a... It was a... Ooh. Footprints. That is not the footprints that we're looking for. No one likes a skin flint. Least of all, a group of wandering, bloodthirsty rabble motivated primarily by a love of coin. Not everyone, or more precisely, no one, was thri uh, thrilled when he suggested cutting back on spending to save up for a company standard. Once the Sinners of the Swords' standard is finally paid for and hoisted for the first time to proudly snap in a fresh dawn breeze, however, no one claims it wasn't worth it. The men are proud to, uh, of their new standard, even tossing around names for it around the campfire, though none of them really stick. It's clear to, to everyone, for everyone to see this is not some band of hired thugs. This is becoming a true mercenary company who should have the honor of carrying the standard. Uh, Gearhead, Gearhead is content. Everybody's very happy, though. Uh, I'm not very happy because I don't know where the footprints are. And who will have the honor? Uh, well, somebody. The Knight at Arms. Because this is a pole arm weapon. And it's uh, about as good as this. But it's not... Oh, it's actually worse than that. Uh, it's better than this, though. So, yay, it's an upgrade. Uh, but it isn't... Oh, there it is. It's some hyenas. Hyenas are easy. Our hyenas are a uh, spear fest. So let's do that. Right? I think so. I'm not sure. Oh. Fight. There we go. I'm not sure if this is indeed what we're looking for. It would... Oh, look at the lovely places. It would make sense for it to be. But, yeah. Uh, okay, so you're going up and spearwalling. You're going up and spearwalling. Exhausted though you are. And you're waiting. You're waiting. Wow. So you need to switch positions there. Miss. Okay. I knew there was somebody there. You need to switch positions with him. Unless I can kill you somehow, which is unlikely. Try to stun you. Are we waste waited? Uh, uh, wasted? Oh, that thing is 25 fatigue. We're not wasted yet. Okay, so you're waiting there. That one is really angry. Look at all that those teeth. Okay, Ilias just not feeling it today. Uh, 33 misses both times. 67 there on that hyena. Very unhappy hyena. And uh, Uthuru is staying where he is, and Sakrin is staying where he is, and hopefully. Things go well in the next turn. This is a two skull mission. Ooh, overwhelmed. So Crane is bleeding now. That thing is special, isn't it? Yeah, we should have all brought more. Hmm. 
Good. More spears. Uh, let's see. Frenzy Diana, that's why. 56 actually lands. Okay, let's fall back a little bit. Oh, that's really bad. 39. Shoots once. Ilias. Ilias uh, can go in here and scare the Aina a little bit. Um, you can go in there and get a kill. But you're going to do the, need to do the rotation here. Uh, you cannot do that while you're engaged in melee, so you're going to do it after. But you're bleeding twice. And then Bernard comes in and then does a shield wall. Okay. Moving you here. That's a scare. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, and I can actually make my way back down south. Or trying to, anyway. Um, okay, that's reasonable. Because I was sort of afraid that, that that one would go over there. But it didn't. Okay, you're staying up there. Uthuru comes in here because we want to start attacking there. Elias can't attack. Sakreen finally can heal himself. Whew. Brutal. Okay. That frenzied Aina is just so much trouble. I don't even know what the Overwhelmed actually does. I think it's only for to hit chance. But I'm not sure. Okay. The Knight at Arms goes in. Gets a kill. Uh, Mad Larkin. 67. Couple of hits. Uthuru misses. Gearhead actually got a hit, a kill. Very nice. Okay, Elias goes in because I want him close. Uh, Phineas goes in. Doesn't scare anybody. Screen. I, it's very dangerous to move him up. So I'm not going to do that. Brian can move up. Should have stunned. Should have stunned that Aina. Oh, man. That was a bad decision. That was a bad decision. That's a bleed there for Bernard. Not very happy about that. Okay. Oh no, they attack three times, even the unfrenzied ones? Yeah, I'm, I'm not being very lucky with the rolls either. Okay, that's a f flea. And that is... Oh, you were very far away from fleeing. Sakrin is going to get his vengeance. He didn't, because he missed. Elias goes in, can't attack. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with you unless I move you over here. Actually got a hit. Uh, Brian gets a stun, but it's a little bit too late. Bernard can't do much and bleeds a little bit. Can't do much from there either. And Uthuru can't do anything from there. Nobody is capable of attacking. Run them down. I deserve this. And so does the Knight at Arms. Uh, okay, so Green goes in for the vengeance. And we... Are victorious. Ugh, they whine really weirdly. The hyenas are contemptuous creatures, but I won. Oh wait. I won now. Crownlings, this job you have done well. See to the chest and you will find your purse swell. Yes indeed. Uh, but I'm not doing that one right there. That three skull one is bad business. Uh, okay, so now we have... I need to hire people. Everybody's very happy, though, so yay for that. Um, in our team, I mean, everybody's very happy in our team, apart from the fact that they are all injured and stuff, or half of them are injured. So we could fight in the arena. Oh, but the thing is... This is going to take forever to get fixed. But I can camp. It's going to take 12 hours to get fixed, in fact. I could try that. Should I try that? Well, I'm gonna need tools. And I'm... Oh, strange meat is really expensive here. That's really weird that it is. Uh, I'm gonna need tools, so I'm just gonna do that. Why are you... Ever trade roots? Oh, food is very expensive, and they just, they'll eat the strange meat. Okay, what is this thing? The town's merchant square is rife with business, and apparently you are wanted to be part of it. If the Gilder might look the other way, I pray the so-called soldiers of this town find the world of shade. You, Crownling, I suspect you'd be willing to help us where others are not. For coin, of course. Okay, how much does it pay? 3,200 uh, 3, and 30 crowns. 
Okay, uh, what is it? Escort a caravan. I'll need time to think about this, but I might want to do this. In fact, I very likely will do. It's five days, so we're talking about losing all of our money. Um, everybody's very happy. And uh, we have one to four days, so I, I sort of probably want to heal Elias here. Because otherwise, it's just bad news. Uh, I think the ambush trade routes mean that this is a good place for me to sell. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I will also, because we're using the same colors of shields, we're using the brownish sort of ochre shields. I'll also sell my shields. And I think we're going to make a heck of a lot of money out of this. And I'm not looking up there, but you can look up there while I do this uh, and see the money grow. It is, isn't it good? Okay, so we have... The nomad mazes. Don't we have like better ones? Is this the best one? That is the best one. Okay, so sell those. Keep the the better weapons. So the Saif and the Scimitars. The Cruel Falchion. Yeah, yeah. So the Scimitars are the better versions. And I will keep the spears as well, or some spears. And I will sell these down here. I'll hang on to those, even though I shouldn't. Acidic saliva. Sell it. Uh, and uh, all their prices are really expensive. Look at the price of bread. It's more than double. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and uh, now we have a lot of crowns. That's good, but it's also bad. And the reason why it's good is because it, I want to uh, hire people. Uh, the reason why it's bad is because if I do, uh, the ruination will befall everybody. Uh, so we're, let's not do that. How about how about not doing that? Let's also potentially buy some nice things over here. The problem is I really don't know how much they, how well they sell. So let's do safe scumming because we're learning. We're going to save scum. Exception. It's an exception. First off, I'm gonna check how, where this is going. To so this is the fuck Fuxburg. That's a very important town. Um, and uh, Fuxburg is over there in the uh, fair range. Fair enough. It's the fair range. Uh, so it's not that far away. That five days, it's mostly because the caravan is slow as molasses. So it's gonna be fine. But it's also in a place where people are going to want this sort of stuff. So I'll buy all that. Oh, I might have overbought. Hmm. Uh, well, I'll have to sacrifice some stuff, won't I? The scimitar? How much? Yeah, we'll sell the scimitar. Um, and a couple of these. It's almost enough. And the nomad la Yeah, okay. So now we have food we always have, because it doesn't matter. Uh, now we have enough money to pay two things. Oh, and I immediately proceed to do bad things. Accept the contract, and off we go. And the bad thing I did was um, I unpaused the game. <sighs> and now what we're doing, and the reason why I'm safe scumming, is because I don't know if my investment in those items is worthwhile. Now, it's very important. This It's, it's important to remember that this is what I... It's not very important to remember. What am I saying? What, what, what I'm saying is, I w actually talked about this before, that I wanted... I think I, I wanted to talk about it anyway. Uh, that I wanted to... Um, that I wanted to trade items. Uh, but it's very important to remember, we don't need to sell them all in the first town we fought, we reach. So, hopefully, it's going to be fine. Sitting and jesting with a man while they check their kit, hone their blades, and mend their armor, your mind wanders off to thinking about new ideas for improving the company and its reputation across the land. What is your conclusion, and what do you tell the men? Uh, well... Visit every settlement is one. Um, get a bunch of renown is another. Gain a renown at least to unlock that you can increase. Then hire an it's basically hire a non-combatant or non-combat follower in the retinue. Uh, you know what? I'll do that. Yeah, there are cooks, scouts, and many more who can support us off the battlefield, or support us off the battlefield. We'll uh, hire one that suits our best needs. Okay, our needs best or whatever. It's fine. So. I'll be able to pay the wages today, but the caravan is so slow that it's very dangerous. So the prices, I bought them for 
461. And this stuff is really expensive. Uh, so I think I did well in selling in selling the things. The prices there were, were pretty good. But this is very dangerous. Everything is dangerous. Not only the mission itself. I really hope that we don't get into a fight. Because if we do, then the safe is coming. is going to be a bit bad. Uh, but uh, the idea behind the safe is coming is to learn. Because I find it very... Ooh, what is that? Orcs? That is goblins. Because the idea behind the save... Oh, come on. Okay, so let's do another thing. Let's say no to that. And leg it. I don't. I don't want to deal with the uh, goblins. I want to say. I, I want to know in, in. Like I don't want to have that fight. Uh, if I. So we just gave up. By the way, we gave up the the mission. Uh, but I'm reloading. I don't want to have that fight if I don't know what this is gonna do. So, it's not worth it. The prices are very. Like, the worth is definitely lower. The prices are very inflated in these things, but it's definitely not worth it. So, that's what I meant by saves coming. I needed to test it. And now we know. This trading can be interesting, but we need to have money for that. So, I mean, I suppose I could do it right now, but the prices are not necessarily great over here. So, I'm just going to accept this contract. We're going to fight those goblins. Well, maybe not those goblins exactly. But that's a lot of money that we're going to get. Uh, and the mission... I mean... It's, maybe it's going to be good. Maybe it's going to be bad. But it's not going to be done in this episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Battle Brothers. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode.